It's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and we're here to do um, your WTF reading for October um, and I want to say something really spiritual but WTF does actually stand for what the fudge and I, you know some people are saying why are you saying fudge and not fuck um, some people don't like swearing I like a good swear myself um, I think it releases negative energies and it gets rid of rubbish for you so let's see how this reading works out this month um as you know if you've watched the first one that i did which was uh, for september i've devised my own spread around um this particular deck and we will do the spread and um, the what the fuck spread and then if we need to we will clarify what it is that we need to do so, God, these cards are so charged up they're leaping all over the place so the cards were charged in the full moon and um, they have been blessed sanctified and refused and um oh my lord right <laughs> I'm going to take this because I don't know where all my Lord came from, people. It's not a saying I would normally be saying. But look what flew out of the, um, the deck. The Horned God. Okay. And he is in the position of what? The current situation. What started the what the fuck? Oh, he's going to be in trouble, are they? So the second card we're asking for is the first aspect, facing fears, taking the fucking power back. Okay, okay. And then the third one is, fuck, the second aspect, what you've been manifesting, your wish fulfilment, why this may be fucked. I still get a giggle out of this um, particular reading. Okay. And then we have the fourth card, which is movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. Oh, all over the place by the looks of it. I am going to take that card because it was the closest to me. Honestly, this deck is just... Since it's been charged, it's kind of like... Can we still see that only just let's bring it over a little bit further okay i might have to move those cards out of the way we'll see how we get on um so uh where did we get to number four so number five is what the fuck we can do about the situation for October this is an October reading let me know if um, if you like this reading because if you do I could turn it into a weekly reading um, so the next card is number six and it's what the fuck is out of your hands what you can't do anything about So number six is what is out of your hands. Can I have a card about what is out of the collective's hands for October? What can't they do anything about? It's too many. They've kind of like, oh wow, we've got energy back. She's been shuffling us for a month and we've suddenly got this newfound energy and we're just all going to fly out once. So can we focus the cards, you know, a bit ADHD at the moment. Oh, we're going to take the one that fell on the floor, folks. And this is what you can't do anything about.
And then your number seven card is Don't Give a Fuck, Reconnecting with the True You. So can I have a reconnection card for the collective, please? Okay. And then the last card is what the fuck's happening next, the outcome. Keep in mind this is a general reading. Some of you will pick up bits from it, some of you won't pick anything up of it at all. Let me know how you feel about this particular layout and the actual um, spread itself. It's something that I created and in the last um, in the last one I put the spread at the end so that if you wanted to check it out for yourselves you could do that all okay so what we've got is we've got the horned god now he's the protector of nature he is um, a well balanced person um, animals um, the woodlands, the flowers, the tree, all of that sort of stuff is protected by this guy. Um, he comes bearing gifts that is natural, a natural way of being. And I kind of get... I kind of get that this situation has been with you for a while. Um, and the wanting to continue with this situation where you want to be out there you want to be an act activist for natural things you want to be this green person you want to continue down that road but there are things that are actually in the way and I know I can see a lot of the issues around this um, what what is actually making you feel a bit wobbly about this this started something for you whoever this is for this started something in you this ignited something in you but you are now kind of backtracking a bit because I feel that maybe you've either gone too far and you've become unbalanced and that's why we've got um, the two of pentacles but I kind of get the feeling that you may have dis detached yourself from um, the original activist um, goal that you had um, and it's trying to draw that back and, and bring some balance back into your life and the reason I say that is because you have the four pentacles and I feel that some of you have gone into retreat you're hiding away you're not answering the door to people you're saving your money for some reason and it's up to you how you save and spend your money it's up to you um, whether you hold or not um, but don't forget the, the beauty that you love and that uh, the need to be out in nature is very evident from the picture because you've got lots of green stuff around you um, and nice things around you. So don't forget about um, your needs. So it's facing your fears with this one, taking the fucking power back. You know, if it is facing other people because something you've done... Um, face other people stand in your truth don't argue with them but stand in your truth state your um state your story or your situation um and then just just let that sow a seed don't try and beat down doors with it um taking your power back isn't always about screaming and shouting but it is always about standing your ground and standing in your own truth so number three is fuck and this is the second aspect what you have been manifesting your wish fulfillment and why this may be fuck now the two of pentacles like the four of pentacles is around uh, money in some situations 
but this card in particular is balance and it's trying to get a balance between um, your finances trying to get a balance between spirituality and matter trying to get a balance between work life and home life it's all aspects of balance and this guy is kind of balancing one pentacle he's not looking at why he's looking at the other pentacle and admiring it um, and I think what they're saying is that there's there's clouds behind the house but there is sunlight coming through but I think what it's trying to say to you is in order for you to carry on and do this you have got to come out in your own truth and the balance that you will find between what you do what you love to do and what you need to do in order to pay the bills also needs to come back into balance and i think the reason that they're saying for some of you this may be completely fucked is that you may have turned your back turned your back on a work situation turned your back on a financial situation so just be kind of aware of that so the number four card is the movement your journey where the fuck you need to be and a lot of you have got do you know i keep getting this card out there is a lot of skills out there you have got a skill it is a gift you have been born with this this isn't something that you have um done an apprenticeship over this is something that came naturally to you that you've been doing all of your life there is an open door in the background and there are lilacs and mimosa just outside that door uh, there is a way of making money from something that you love to do um, whatever that is however that comes across it doesn't matter you can make money from your gift your skill or your um gift skill or knowledge is what i was looking for gift skill or knowledge yeah so yeah you've got a way of making the money and that's where you need to be that's where you need your movement to be um you need to move back towards this so yeah have a good look around you because you have this ability is yours this isn't something that you buy in and sell out this is something that you can do and just above this which is your five um position is what the fuck you can do about the situation now the seven of wands when i very first saw this i saw an accident i thought oh my god something's gonna fall off that stall but in actual fact this is a lovely card and it is um achieving it's achieving it's achieving balance on that stall it's achieving choosing the right wand for the right job um it's about warmth it's about shelter it's just about everything really it's seven for me is a very I, anybody that knows me a lot of my stuff is angels and ancestors sevens with seven beside it the reason for that is i work with seven archangels and angels ancestors and archangels was a bit of a mouthful so we put angels and ancestors and on some of my other official stuff it's angels and ancestors seven uh, my email is that and that is in recognition of the seven archangels that i work with there are many more and i do draw on those from time to time but there are seven main ones that i work with and when i see the number seven on any of the cards i always have to have a little smile to myself because i think you're in such a good position with seven you are well on your way to your eight and your nine you know what you're doing you're kind of like you know you've got balance you know you you can reach up um and reach out for this wand and use it for good and bring yourself um round to sorting out a situation so that's a really good card to have in that position so that's your four and five your six which is what the fuck is out of your hands is the witch so this is a magical card and this is all about intuition um and working with the elements and conjuring up spells but it's also about protect, protecting yourself 
And what you can't do about this situation is you can't stop yourself thinking about it. You can't stop yourself from manifesting whatever this is because it's already out there in the open. You've manifested this and it is happening and there is nothing you can do to put the lid back on the pot. So now you need to have to work with this but in a very safe and very balanced way. Um, use your intuition. It's very strong at the moment. There is a lot of energy out there. Um, just make sure that whatever you do, um, it's in the positive rather than the negative. So, yeah, if you're going to stir the pot, make sure you stir, stir it clockwise and not anti-clockwise. And if you're casting spells, do not do it on the dark side of the moon. All of that sort of stuff, unless you are very well protected. So, the next one, don't give a fuck reconnecting with the true you now the five of wands in other decks show that there's people coming together trying to put some sticks together um in one deck i can see they're trying to put together a pentacle but in this deck it's all about working together for the same um outcome and in this particular reading, this is the position where it's don't give a fuck, reconnecting with the true you. And it may be that for some of you, working with other people is absolutely the right thing to do and the way forward. And it's bringing like minds together to work for the same um, reason, to work for the, the same outcome. However, I am getting the feeling that there are some of you out there that are really resistant to this and reconnecting with the true you um, is to actually not work together with people um, and it is for you to work on your own and work on your own truth rather than have a collective truth. I know it sounds a bit mad but I just, I'm just getting the feeling that there is some of you out there that just you just don't want to be working with other people you want to be doing your own thing and that is how you're going to reconnect to the true you but for the majority of you it is coming together with like-minded people for the better outcome to get this balance um back in your life to be able to say okay i've turned my back on something but there is other things that are coming forward to me that i can find balance in um, and that there is help out there for me. Now, what the fuck is happening next? The outcome is the king of a thames. Now, this guy is well learned. He has got um, qualifications coming out of the wazoo. Usually, he is around um, legal matters. He is about um, finding out um, information. He's a researcher. He's an advocate. Um, he comes down on the righteous side of everything and the outcome may well be that you are going to face some or you may face some legal action but it may be that you take some legal action um, to do with this situation and I'm kind of getting that this situation for a lot of people is activism and it is activism about nature is activism around animals it is activism around saving the planet about saving um the trees the 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 wildlife just everything i'll just get the feeling that there is this movement that that the collective needs to be really aware about so yeah kind of like go with the flow but don't if you see what i mean um don't flow with people that are going to get you into trouble for a start off. And that may be the resistance, you know, standing in your own truth is where it's gone too far for you. And that's why you're kind of hiding away a bit and wondering where your balance has gone to. Um, because working with others has caused some issues. On the other hand, working with others may have pushed this issue into the forefront and you now feel that you're getting somewhere with it. Now, I was going to draw on some other cards and I am going to, I'm going to use the Angels and Ancestors deck just because I just want to finish the reading off properly for you. 
Um, this is just to get some wisdom and knowledge around what the fuck is going on. Um, and I'll, I was going to try and ca clarify um, what it was that... Um, oh, well. What it was that I was seeing and whether that was right. And I've just got two cards out that have just told me you're absolutely right. So we've got the hunter. And this says track down your fears and desires. And there you have the hunter there. You've got the horned god who's the hunter. You've got the horned god here who's the hunter. So absolutely on point. This is an activism issue. This is about saving whatever it is that's really close to your heart. Um, just try not to go overboard with it. And it says the Lord and he says take charge with authority so there you have it that's your what the fuck reading for October 2019 I hope it resonates with some of you if it does please 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 like share and subscribe and let me know in the box below um, what it is that you're doing what it is that you're saving what it is that's resonated for you in this um reading i don't see that it's um it is personal but it's not i don't feel that it's kind i think it's overtaking your life absolutely um but i don't feel that it kind of like involves loved ones but it does involve the love that you have for the planet and for your fellow man so well done to you get your balance right get the bills paid that's most important um yeah and stand in your truth guys what a beautiful reading thank you for sharing that energy with me many bright blessings till the next time bye for now